Alabama State Health Officer today addressed people's frustration in the rollout of the vaccine in the state and acknowledged we could do better. Dr. Scott Harris says the state's given 42% of the doses allotted to the state. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey joins us now. Andrea, the state also says it is given all it can. That is less than 50%. How do they square those two statements? Yeah, Greg and Kim, that's where the confusion and frustration comes in, seeing 60% of what's been delivered has not been used. But Harris says there are reasons for that. To date, Alabama's received 446,000 COVID-19 vaccines, 42% of which has actually gone in someone's arm, says State Health Officer Dr. Scott Harris. That's uh, something we could do better. It's not as good as I would like. Yesterday, the state took back vaccines from a provider that wasn't giving them out fast enough. Harris says for the most part, what hasn't been used is being saved for that required second round. That happens 21 days after receiving the Pfizer vaccine, 28 days after getting Moderna's. Many of the, of the doses that have been delivered are second doses. Or, Harris says, has been assigned to someone who has made an appointment. We requested a breakdown on how many remaining doses are being held for a second shot and how many are for appointments, but did not get an answer from the state today. Harris contends they've doled out all they can. Right now, the only remaining doses at all county health departments are second doses and those reserved by appointment. I, I certainly understand the frustration on the people who look at other states and see, uh, see giant uh, uh, vaccination clinics going on. Something Alabama simply can't support right now, Harris says. The amount of vaccine Alabama receives is based on population. Harris says Alabama makes up 1.4% of the country's population, and therefore we receive 1.4% of vaccines that are produced. That's 50 to 60,000 doses weekly. We don't have enough vaccine for, for really large-scale, long-term uh, uh, mass clinics. At today's briefing, to no one's surprise, the governor announced the state's mask mandate will be extended for another six weeks. Last week, the governor said at one point there were only 39 ICU beds available in the state out of 1,600. Greg?